Before we dig into today's content for the video, I did want to take a few moments to share with you one of the many visual successes um, that the I Am Melanin Magic hair brand is having. Uh, the Magical Hair Growth Serum uh, has been very successful in helping uh, people to restore hair in areas that have long uh, been bald or that have been very difficult to remediate. This client, as you will see, uh, as you continue to watch, has been using the product for two months and in the two month period has experienced some major changes. So we celebrate these changes and over the next um, several videos, I'll be able to share with you more and more of the pictures that many of you out there on this beautiful channel, on this blessed channel, have been so gracious and kind to share with me over the last uh, almost year and a half, two years. Um, organizing the files now and really making an effort to show more of the success uh, that the products are having. Now, this is the Magical Hair Growth Serum being used um, consecutive days, I believe from Wednesday to Saturday or Sunday. And this has been a very hard to treat area for this client. So hopefully you enjoy taking a look at the before and after. We've had various other successes with male uh, patterned hair baldness. Again, the results do vary from person to person. I'm hoping that you will stay tuned for the release of the Magical Hair Growth Serum Accelerator. Uh, the group that is participating in the trials, hopefully I'm giving a shout out to all of you women, will receive your samples within the next six weeks. I'm very excited about this particular product because it's entirely different, but hopefully it will be just as effective or it will pick up where the other serum leaves off. It is definitely worth a try. We're getting some amazing results. I love you guys and thank you for all your support. The I Am Melanin Magic brand salutes your support. I Am Melanin Magic and so are you. Butterflies and transformation. All of you perfect people, beautiful sister lockers, soul tribers and the like. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel. Y'all, it's gonna be a rough night tonight. I have got to get into this mess, okay? Now, I didn't even do my hair today. And while the edifice may be looking halfway decent, I got some serious stuff going on in these locks. It is a mess. I have not let it get like this in the longest time. I'm gonna tell you why. It's crazy all up underneath here, and even it's just crazy all over. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like as I go through and try to get a handle on it before I wash it because I've got three and a half more weeks, I think, before my next lock appointment and I am in trouble. I am in so much trouble. So I got to show y'all this mess. We're gonna talk a little bit about the maintaining the locks in between the retightenings. And I gotta dive in, I've been putting it off. You know how when you know you gotta do something and you don't wanna do it? But you know you gotta do it. That's the space I'm in. So stick around for the video and we're gonna get into it. We're gonna dive in. I'ma see you in the bathroom. <laughs> right. Beautiful butterflies and perfect people. Let's look at this hair. I have been procrastinating because it is a hot mess. I'm not even going to lie, and it needs to be washed. It also needs a, a serious retightening. Let me get my tool. It needs a serious retightening. I'm way behind. I missed my retightening appointment. It's been a hectic last couple of weeks. My girls just finished moving, so I've been running up and down the road. We've been running up and down the road, and it's been crazy. And if you know, or if you remember, a couple weekends ago, we had the retightening session on Zoom, right? So I had saved a section of my hair over here to not do anything with so that I could, if, if, if no one else wanted to demo, then I could demo. We never got around to that. Girl talk, chit chat about these locks and everything else. But the point is, I had started this a few weeks ago in preparation for my retightening because you guys know I always do the front 
Well, when I didn't go, I, I, I never really went back and finished. I started this early. Now this has grown out like crazy. It ain't been but damn four weeks. Y'all know I typically wait 11 or 12 weeks before I do my retightenings. But the last four times maybe I've been trying to try an eight or nine week schedule. So I was going to be right on time. I think my last retightening was on January the 24th. So I would have been getting in right around maybe nine weeks, which was still kind of good. Back at the ranch, I never got around to finishing the front because I missed my appointment. Part of the reason why I missed my appointment, in addition to the fact that I was just, I just couldn't do it. It was a busy week. I had too much going on. I've been trying to help the girls. I've been doing stuff from here. You know, I'm not in, I'm in the ATL anymore. And I was like, you know what? Something's got to give. Meltdown or something's got to give. So I was like, you know what? I can't do it. This is an emergency. You know, mental health is on the line. Like, we got to just stop. Just stop and just sit. So I was like, no. So I didn't finish this, right? Meanwhile, y'all, I haven't. This is the uh, tester. Oh, this is the tester of the Magical Hair Growth Accelerator. All right? I've been using this right here, and I started using it on this area in the back. All right? Y'all know I'm in and out of my oils. My oils work, but when I'm consistent, they grow a lot. So I've been also, I put my oil in this to try this bottle and see if I wanted to offer this to y'all. It ain't worth a dime, so we're not going to be putting any oil in this. But I've been spraying this throughout my scalp, and whenever I start doing that, my hair starts growing faster. So whereas normally at eight weeks I wouldn't have all of this, I got all of this and then some. All right? So this is usually where I may be around 11 weeks. So the whole hair is like this. And if y'all know anything about me, I take spiritual baths every other day, sometimes every day. Sometimes in the middle of the day, sometimes in the evening. And y'all, I like hot water. Give me a shout out in the comments if y'all like hot water. I like it hot. So I sit in there hot. And all the while my hair be drawing up, drawing up, drawing up, drawing up, getting tight. And I didn't ain't been doing my maintenance on my hair like I need to, which is why I've been trying to oil it to kind of keep it halfway from acting crazy. But y'all, I'm taking baths that often, so my hair is drawing up. It's grown a lot this past month, so it's drawing up. It's drawing up. In addition to the fact that y'all know I just colored, right? Uh, about a month or so ago, I put a video up. So y'all know I'm trying to hang on to my color, right? Y'all know I'm trying to hang on to my color. Because I know when I wash it, it's going to all come out or half of it's going to come out. So I ain't wanted to wash it but one time. But I was going to wash it before I went in for my retightening. That was another reason why I didn't go because I hadn't washed my hair. So I was like, you know what? Do you really feel like doing this the night before? You know, I always tell y'all not to wash your locks. Well, I tell you to, to wash them if you can. But I kind of advise against washing them the day before you go in for your retightening because you need a few days to detangle you need a few days for your scalp to bounce back and for you to feel comfortable i gotta show y'all something let me see if i can pause. so i knew i wasn't ready and then this came right i got six of these y'all know this is the the real color that i use on my hair this is a rinse this is the permanent color I put the rinse in because I was dying and starving for color and I knew I couldn't use the henna right away because I want to lighten all of my hair up again permanently and then I want to return and go in with the henna and I know that I can't do them back to back and so I want to lighten up because for me the only reason why I'm doing the henna is to get this color permanently and I can't get this color permanently except on the ends because all of my hair up in here is dark so I need to do a permanent lightening first this is not going to turn my hair this color so it's going to look more like a deep auburn color and you know these permanent dyes they rinse out in two or three washes but at least all of my hair will be lighter and as it about a year goes by I'm heavily invested because I got my henna guys burgundy henna over there in about a year because I'm not playing with this because you all also know the way I got into this journey is I lost all my hair. 
I had been doing henna for many years. My hair was fine. I turned around and dyed it so I could get more brightness. I did them too close in conjunction with one another. And the hair, y'all, talk about mortification. So when I talk about hair loss on this channel and the trauma of losing your hair, I've been there, done that. So it's not quite time for this. I probably have another wash of this. I hadn't washed my hair, okay? And it's nappy as hell. And I already know when I wash it, if I don't detangle my hair before I wash it, y'all, it's gonna do this and I'm gonna be in trouble because it's already tangled. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do and what I got to do, I think I did about six or seven of these, eight of these, these are okay. But I probably, since I don't have my, my appointment until May the 4th, I still got three freaking weeks. So the likelihood of me having to come back and do this, I might. And this, I just did these a few weeks ago, y'all. And they already, look, they already grown. They already grown. And I just did them like three weeks ago. Okay, when I thought I was going in for my retightening. So I'm going to have to do them all again, but I think I'm going to give it a, a shot. I never got to the top. So I can go in here. And I can do some of these up here in the top. But as you can see, that's the Albie, that's the alert in the back. As you can see, even I have, look at that. I have a lot. When you use Magical Hair Growth Serum, shout out to the beautiful Shay who just sent me her boyfriend's hair growth from using the Magical Hair Growth Serum. He had a big bald spot. It's all starting to fill in. I love you, Shay. I love you, Shay. Shout out to the beautiful Angelica. I haven't forgotten about your videos. Shout out to the beautiful Sin. I haven't forgotten about your information. Kind of all of y'all. I'm going to do what I can to put your pictures up of success as soon as I can get my act together and get out, get out of this meltdown era. And as soon as I can do my own hair to thine own self be true. Right, y'all? So look, I got some crazy stuff. Now, the other day while I was sitting downstairs, I did do a few over here. Because this gets so crazy, y'all. Especially now that I haven't been doing anything. The back gets so crazy. And all my baby hair comes out. And it gets... It's just a hot mess, y'all. So, here's what I'm trying to decide. How am I going to remedy this? Because when I say I got some stuff up here that is really jacked up, this is what I didn't want y'all to experience. It puts too much oil on your hair. Um, to me, and then when you release the sprayer, sometimes it continues to spray. Not to mention the fact it's a damn eight to twelve dollar bottle. We can't afford that because I am melon and magic cost enough as it is, right? Y'all don't want the bottle that bad, do you? I thought maybe we could even use it for the water mist that I'm working on for the summer, which might not be ready. I'm so sorry, but that's okay because that second magical hair growth serum accelerator will be. But y'all, when I'm in this type of place, I saturate my hair with the oil, especially in the area where it's very tangled. I saturate it very good because all I'm going to do is shampoo this right out. All right, I got to because you don't need this much oil in your hair. I give it a minute or two to sit because what you're really trying to do is to coat your hair. When you're coating your hair, it reduces the friction. While we're not talking about moisturization necessarily, unless a product has humectants in it and it pulls moisture from the environment, conditioning and softening and detangling is very important. And that's what this can do when you're right up against a lot of tangles. There's several oils in that formula that have some detangling capacity I don't wet my hair and pull it apart. Some of you may, and that's fine. So I just will massage this in. I make sure that it is very well dispersed throughout the problem section. Now, mind you, the whole head is a problem today. The whole head is a problem. And then I'm gonna get in a good way that I can just kind of sit somewhere and I'm just going to start to gently separate. If you let it sit long enough, even if you run into something that is a little bit tangled, all you do is gently pull it apart. Don't force it. When you get to a piece of hair like maybe that one, the hair, when it's soft, you see that? It's not going to pop. It's going to slide out. And this is why whenever you go to get your retightening, it is so important that you go through your hair lock by lock, 
by lock, okay? And that you separate these lock by lock by lock. This is the reason why when I went to that lady in Macon and I was told, whatever it was, she, I told her, I'm going I'm to share with y'all one day what she said because I'm not going to tell you who she is. I'm not trying to call people out. That's not fair and I don't need to do that. But um, when, when you remember she married six of my locks and that's why I said I'll just drive into Atlanta if I have to. But when I asked the fried, <laughs> Why is she using scissors on my hair? Why is she using scissors? Ephraim said, your hair is the less tangled of any of my clients because you always detangle it. Y'all, when I say I detangle, and please make sure your fingernails are filed, you do not need your nails snapping on your hair. Okay, it's not worth it. Even when you're Speedy Gonzalez like me, it ain't worth it. And he fried said, but you take the time. Yeah, y'all might be able to see in the mirror back there. I can. I got a mirror here, y'all, as well. This is where I would do my retightenings, okay, between these two mirrors. It'll allow me to see close. Shout out to the beautiful Havutu. Havutu. But, y'all, I'm telling you, I don't play with detangling because if they have to detangle it for you, they are not going to be as kind, and your hair will be upset with you. See, I moved further back here now. It's really like a forest. So I need more of the I Am Melanin Magic Premium Oil. That's the one, you all, in the blue spray bottle. Now I can separate them. Only to do what? To turn around and have to wash it. I'm going to have to wash it. And then I'm going to have to detangle it again. But when I wash it, it won't be as bad. Because this is coating my strands. I have separated the hair, okay? As long as when I wash it, I take the time to go through it. After I wash it, before I just let it fully dry on its own, I take the time to go through it. Okay, I don't have to necessarily go one by one, but I can do more of this type of thing after. I can comb through it like this. Right now, I can't comb through it. My whole hair is mad at y'all. Shame on me, because you, you all know I'm a serious stickler for this. It's bad. But I'm telling you, you see how fast I Am Melanin Magic is helping me move through this? Now, a conditioner might do the same thing for you. I'm sure a conditioner would because conditioners detangle. But I don't use conditioners, shampoo conditioners on my hair. And the few times that I do, it's only going to be when I do a hair color and I condition it after. Uh, or I do a clarifying shampoo, which makes it very hard, and the color, which can break it. So I've got to give it the benefit of the conditioner. But I still will swear that the times that I've gotten residue stuck in my hair is because of either poorly rinsing it out when I thought I got it all out, or it's due to the conditioner in and of itself getting in between my locks. So I just don't like to risk that. And the bottom line is I Am Melanin Magic is a conditioner. That's your leave-in conditioner. It conditions, moisturizes, protects the hair, kills fungus, and does a lot of other stuff. So, y'all, this is a big job that I got on my hands tonight. And uh, it, it's not making me happy. And it's really bad. It's just really bad all over. Y'all know the center is always the worst. The center and the top of the back. Look at this. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's crazy. Uh, ask me if I'm going to give up my baths. No. But shouldn't I be maintaining my hair better? Yeah. So I got to wait three more weeks for retightening. What I'd like to do is try to do my own retightening this time. And then in three weeks, she'll have less work to do. I don't think I'm cut out for it, though. But guess what? Naima's coming next week. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. But either way, I'm still going to have to go to Ephraim. I'm not, it's a lot, y'all, but that's what I do, okay? And I'm beginning to, 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 to consider, you know, plaiting my hair up when I take my showers. My, uh, not my showers, my baths, because, y'all, I take, when I take a bath, I take a bath. I mean, I'm in there for an hour, hour and a half. Your girl don't play, all right? And I love being in a sauna, and I want to get a, one, a two, uh, one of those little small, uh, smaller wooden saunas so I can get in one every day. It's really good for the body and detoxing. 
and that's going to sweat me out a lot too. So I'm thinking about starting to just plaid it and put a tad bit of tension on it so that it doesn't do this thing here when I get ready to wash it. I probably will have to have larger chunks of hair, but that's where I am, y'all. This is the mess. This is what I'm dealing with. And uh, that's why I don't mind giving Albie a bath because I'm going to be a hot mess. My hair is going to be a mess. I'm going to have to wash it because I haven't washed it. It feels kind of rough on the edges. And then you all also know I did the rinse, so it did shift my texture quite a bit. Not as bad as the texture and the dryness that you're going to get from something like this. And I know I should stay away from it, but y'all know I have colored a lot over the years. And my oils have protected my hair from any serious hair loss, although I did have some, some issues. It hadn't been enough for me to stop. And the bottom line is I want to get all of this light, but I got to pray on it because I hadn't done that in a long time, y'all. Now, I didn't have no major hair loss before. God forbid. But I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to take the bite the bullet and I don't know why I'm feeling a little antsy about it this time like maybe I should test the section out but I've always used the Vidal Sassoon and I've always used this and I've never had any major problems and I always leave it in beyond the time the problems I have are the dryness the change in the texture and the ends it does do something to the ends but I've never had any massive hair loss so I feel like I do want to dive in again. Gotta check the color. Hold on. Oh, I was gonna say London Lux. This six RR. What is that? Okay, that's more like it. Runaway Red. Hard to get. I don't think they sell it in the store anymore. I had to get it on Amazon. It cost me a little bit more. Not happy about that, but hopefully when I use it this time, that'll be the last time I ever use it. I got six bottles, and I'll use that, and I'll wait for a year. And then I'll try the henna, and I'll test the henna out on this side. Shout out to the beautiful Priscilla. Priscilla, I hope your husband is doing better. I hope he's feeling better. I've been thinking about you, my sister. I love all of you guys. Thank you for all of your support here on the channel. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And those of you who I'm able to connect with in various ways, Throughout our journey, I just want y'all to know I really, really appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your subscribership. I appreciate you on the channel. When you comment in the comment section, and for those of you who showed up on the last Zoom, I appreciate you as well. And for those of you that missed it, I'm sorry, but it won't be the last one. We will be doing another one. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Please don't let your hair get out of control. And if you're going in for a retightening, please sit and separate each lock one by one in the days before you actually go in. It's critical, y'all. It's critical. It's critical. And by the way, that new serum is helping these, although it's gray, but I'm getting more gray anyway. It's filling these in. I hope to have a lock soon. I hope to have another lock on both sides. And for those of you who um, signed up for the test, we only were supposed to have 20. I think we have 23 or 24. I'm having a problem with the list uh, joining, merging the list to be able to get an accurate count because I had something to happen to my phone. But I'm hoping to be able to get those samples out to you all within the next six weeks. Um, yeah, and I'll be contacting you via text. There are two ladies, Valerie and... There's another lady that was on the, Valerie, you were on the Zoom, and there was another lady, I think her name was China, I'm not sure, she was on the Zoom as well. You guys gave me your address, I need you to give me your telephone number, so please text me if you happen to watch this video, 678-438-6442, please text me and introduce yourself and give me your telephone number. That'll keep me from having to track you down through snail mail, the USPS first to get that from you. So I hope you get to see this. There may be one chance in, what, 23, 23K, but we'll see. I love y'all. Thanks again. I got it.